Hi everyone, just got a box from Mid and Mouth and it has come with a letter. I'm so eager to read what's in this letter. Shall we open? Yes. Okay. Sashi, your skills in the kitchen are about to be put to a test like never before. Oh no. <laughs> we challenge you, the Mid and Mouth Ambassador, to create two dishes with the meat from our new Father's Day gift box. As it's Father's Day, you can have the assistance of your son, Ryan, who is also the MasterChef Junior Contestant. Here are the rules. You can use any of the ingredients you find in the kitchen. There's a fair bit in the kitchen. But only have 30 minutes to prepare and cook your meals. Your time starts now. Oh my God, I miss this. <laughs> Yes, it does. Okay, let's see what's inside. Oh. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. What are you going for? I'm going for the steak. And I'll go for the lamb. Alright, let's, let's begin. start cooking. You got any idea what you're gonna do? Yep, I know what I'm gonna cook. Perfect. But one problem. What is it? I only have one oven in the house. What are you gonna do? <laughs> There's a grill outside. I think I'm going to use that instead. Perfect. So grab your ingredients. Let's start cooking. I've gathered all these ingredients from the pantry. I'll be doing a rack of lamb roast with mustard and a beetroot salad. To start, let's prepare the beetroot. I'm going to roast some nice baby beetroot. Just cutting off the end. Adding a generous amount of olive oil and a dash of salt. And this goes into the oven for a good 30 minutes until the beetroot gets nice, juicy and caramelized. Now it's time to prepare the hero of the dish, the lamb rack. I'm going to remove some of the trimmings here, the cap. Um, I don't need too much of this and I'm not going to throw them away. I'm going to use it for a sauce that I'm going to make later. And now, time to season it. I'm applying a good amount of salt, pepper, dried oregano, some chili flakes, a generous amount of olive oil rub make sure all the seasonings get into the meat make sure the pan is really hot i want to give a quick sear on the lamb rack for about one to two minutes you should be hearing the nice sizzling sound so apply a generous amount of dijon mustard or you can even use hot English mustard, whichever you prefer. And this goes into the oven for approximately eight to 10 minutes at 180 degrees. After eight minutes, give a check. If you're not happy, put it back in again. While the beetroot and the lamb is cooking away, I'm gonna use all the trimmings from the lamb rack earlier to make a nice sauce for it. Sauce looking beautiful. I'm going to add about 10 to 15 grams of butter. Do not add too much because the fat from the lamb is really very rich and the butter is going to make it even more richer. If you don't whisk, the butter will start to split away from the sauce and it will not combine together.
gonna be marinating my steak. All you're gonna need is some salt, pepper, Dijon mustard, and olive oil. Just wanna be generous with the. S oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's the other, it's the other way. <laughs> so you just gotta crack the salt. Make sure to be generous with it. Then add some pepper. Gotta figure out the right way. And I got it first try. <laughs> Dijon mustard. Gotta spread it. And finally, the olive oil. Make sure to marinate both sides our marination is now done so let's move on to the anchovy butter you're just going to take two or three anchovies bit of pepper crack that use your fork and just mush the butter and just keep mushing until it's all combined now i'm just going to transfer it onto a clean wrap we're going to clean wrap it into a nice bowl shape so that when we cut it later it'll be perfect my meat is marinating, my anchovy butter is in the fridge. Now it's time to work on my turmeric vinaigrette for my salad. So I've got a small jar here. I'm going to add approximately three tablespoons of olive oil. One tablespoon of white vinegar. One tablespoon of Dijon mustard. And I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of salt. And then a pinch of turmeric. A bit more for the color. Mix, shake everything up. It's a good workout. That is a good vinegar. Ooh, that tastes good. I'm gonna start prepping my salad now. So you just gotta thinly slice your carrot. I mean carrot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start on the prep for my salad. So I'm gonna thinly slice my apple. Make sure it's as thin as possible. And now I'm gonna thinly slice or ribbon the apple. So you just wanna do a continuous motion and make it like almost like a, you know, rectangular oh it's not that my bad a rectangular kind of shape like this see beautiful moving on to my fennel so you're just gonna cut off these bits so oh this my this oh so now once you cut these those bits off you want to actually save these we're gonna use this as a garnish now we're gonna just cut it in half Then we're gonna just thinly slice like this to make a perfect circular shape. Now that I've cut my apple and my fennel and I've also marinated my steak, now we're gonna grill them, okay? So first, we're just gonna grab our meat and we're just gonna place it on the stove until you hear that. Oh, do you hear that? Sounds perfect. Then we're gonna get a few of our fennel and we're gonna place them on a 45 degree angle so that we get a bit of a char mark. Ooh, hoo -hoo. Now it's time for plating. So that's my steak with anchovy butter and apple and fennel salad. <laughs> so let's see how my dad did. Oh, there he is. Come on up, dad. Yeah, this is my lamb. Wow, that looks so good. Lamb with beetroot salad. What have you done? Well, I've done a steak. steak with fennel, apple and... and, uh, and anchovy butter. Oh, you <laughs> took my recipe, anchovy butter. <laughs> <laughs> we 
Thank okay. you, sir. You inspired me. Thank you. Thank you so much, Meat in the Mouth, for giving us this box today. There's an amazing selection of meat, wine, olive oil, and dukkha in it. We really enjoyed our Father's Day. Hope all of you at home uh, enjoy your Father's Day too. <laughs> You're supposed to be talking, not putting food in the mouth. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is so good.